we are glad to have you with us, uh, Parviz Jahid, uh, director, you. film critic, journalist, and lecturer in film studies. Uh, we are speaking today in the frame of the Iranian Film Days, uh, third edition, held by the Royal Film Commission of Jordan. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, it seems that there is a great interest in Iranian cinema uh, that is um, best illustrated by the large audience attending each day uh, the Iranian movies in Amman. So, how do you see the interaction of the Jordanian audience as reflected in the discussions after the screenings? Thank you very much. I, I really need to express my gratitude to Royal Film Commission of Jordan for inviting me to this fantastic cinematic event. Uh, yeah, I liked it very much. I am very glad to be here and talk to the Jordanian audience. So I found them very, very interest, interested into Iranian cinema, into you know, uh, finding some something new. Uh, the knowledge, uh, their knowledge actually, about Iranian cinema, I found it, it's very low. They haven't seen, um, you know, more Iranian cinema. And th this selection just gave them uh, perspective of Iranian, new Iranian cinema, especially films about social drama, social uh, social problems in Iranian society, which uh, has been addressed by Iranian film directors like uh, Rakhshan Bani Etamad, Aida Panahande, and uh, the others. The, the, the debate was uh, really uh, exciting and uh, they raised some interesting questions about Iranian cinema and also Iranian uh, society. They were curious about, you know, finding more, more and uh, exploring more aspects of Iranian cinema and also Iranian society. So as uh, an expert on Iranian cinema, according to you, what are the uh, main characters of this cinema as compared to others? Actually, you, you have selected some, you know, uh, films that uh, could be categorized as a social drama, as I said. So, it's a just, yes, it is a big genre. It is a major, one of the major genres in Iranian cinema, if you name it a genre, actually. It's a, you know, there are some controversies like, regarding the, definition of social drama and some some researchers and critics uh, doesn't take it as a genre but in my view it could be a, a genre uh, which is uh, addressing uh, you know social issues so social problems in society so it's a uh, the, the four films you, you selected three of them uh, belongs to newcomers a new generation of Iranian filmmakers and uh, one of them made by Rakhshan Bani Etamad, who is uh, one of the leading figure of Iranian cinema. She's not a female actor, she's a female director, but also the representative of social drama in Iranian cinema. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the whole films give you a view and a perspective of uh, new Iranian cinema uh, experienced by different generations uh, of Iranian filmmakers. The, the, the old generation, like Rakhshan, who came after the revolution and started to make films uh, um, at the starting point of Iranian cinema, yeah. uh, after the revolution. So uh, this brings me to my uh, next question, in fact. Uh, as you know, there are uh, two women filmmakers among the selection of films uh, screened by the RFC uh, who are uh, Rakhshan Bani Atimad mm -hmm. and uh, Ida, Pan Ida Panahande. Ida Panahande. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact there is also an increasing number of uh, women filmmakers, Iranian women filmmakers. So uh, how does the presence of women change the style of cinema in your opinion? I believe uh, women hold a great position in Iranian cinema nowadays. They, we, we observed a huge, uh, you know, shift uh, in Iranian cinema regarding the position of women after the revolution. 
Before the revolution, we had just a few numbers of Iranian, female Iranian directors. The main role of Iranian women in cinema was acting in mm. uh, local film products uh, called Film for C, which was a, you know, kind of mainstream popular cinema form of cinema. Uh, and uh, they played uh, in, in some cliche uh, and stereotypical uh, ca characters in the film. And after, but after the revolution, the situation has significantly changed and we saw a shift uh, from women uh, in front of the camera to behind the camera. In general, uh, the cinema industry is very uh, developed in, uh, in Iran. And unlike uh, what one would think, it is actually encouraged by the official bodies. This is on uh, one hand. Yet on the other, there are also uh, some uh, constraints in this domain. And still, uh, maybe uh, many films that are done inside Iran uh, dare to tackle uh, very daring social issues. I don't know, but how would you explain uh, this combination? The obstacles and restrictions has, have been always in front of Iranian filmmakers, before revolution and after the revolution. But in my view, uh, they had the desire to to make the to express their artistic views and their you know uh, personal views uh, via their films so they they were successfully managed to do that in despite all the restrictions all the constraints all the limitations and ob obstacles uh, in front of them they challenged the, the censorship the cha they challenged the uh, the taboos and restrictions especially when they were addressing, you know, social problems, social issues, taboo subjects in their films. Thank you, Parviz Jahed, uh, for joining us and for joining the discussions uh, after the screenings. We certainly wish you best of luck in your upcoming projects. Thank you Thank very you. much. I'm very glad. I love this land, this country. It's a beautiful country.